to the phenomenal black woman. Men and women from different cultures wonder where your innate power lies. Where is your secret? I say the unmoved mover strategically place your preternatural attributes in the reach of your arms, the span of your hips, the stride of your steps, the curl of your lips, the fire in your eyes, the swing in your waist, the arc of your back, the sun of your smile, and the grace of your style. To the mothers of the black race, remember the time, lest we forget, when you courageously raise your voice on behalf of the village community. You represented a drum major for our sustained humanity, a spiritual intercessor. You are the historical and present day biblical racial, weeping for past, present, and future generations. You transferred through birth and nurturing the continuation of life to the soul brothers of history bestowing upon the earthly struggle for racial equality the embodiment of brother Nat Turner, Denmark Vesey, Frederick Douglass, Megar Evers, James Mary, Stokely Carmichael, Bobby Seale, Mayor Harold Washington, John Lewis and a powerful brother named Huey P. Newton. You transferred through birth and nurturing the continuation of life to the soul sisters of history, bestowing upon the earthly struggle for racial equality, the powerful embodiment of Sister Angela Davis, Shirley Chisholm, Condoleezza Rice, Betty Shabazz, the wife of Malcolm X, Wilma Rudolph, and Jackie Joyner Kirsty, Gabby Douglas, and Serena and Venus Williams. You transferred through birth and nurturing the continuation of life and the powerful black movements in history bestowing upon the earthly struggle for racial equality, the embodiment of the 1944 Port Chicago 50, the Little Rock Nine, the Freedom Riders, the Brown versus the Board of Education Supreme Court decision, Operation Breadbasket in Chicago, CORE, the Congress of Racial Equality, the Freedom Riders, SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, the Jenna Six, the powerful modern day Black Lives Matter movement, followed by the Me Too movement. To the mothers of the black race, remember the time, lest we forget, when you courageously raise your voice on behalf of the village community. You represented a drum major for our sustained humanity, a spiritual intercessor, you are the historical and present-day biblical racial, weeping for past, present, and future generations. As I close, we pay homage to the quintessential black woman, she was the voice of one crying in the wilderness, requesting divine intervention during the long night of slavery. You are the spiritual, physical, psychological connection to the creator who empowered you to co-create. We pay homage to the quintessential black woman, the giver of life, hope, and the pursuit of happiness. You are the historical advocate standing against the unearned suffering of oppressed people. Finally, we pay homage to the quintessential black woman who issued a 
proclamation to the village that you would stand by us until we are restored to our greatness. You would stand by the ex-slave. She would stand by the oppressed. She would stand by the endangered black men and boys. She would stand by her family and the extended family. She will stand by our precious children. She will stand by the greater village community. Finally, she promised that she would stand by me. The historical honor, unconditional respect, and the message continues.